Elephants, with their massive bodies, large ears, and long trunks, are the largest land mammals on Earth. They're also, as we've come to learn, highly social and vocal species. Sometimes when they're in a big group, a female or a, a matriarch of a group will give a call and the entire group will respond. They'll group up around her, they'll follow her or whatever. And then other times she gives seemingly the, a very similar call and nobody will respond, nobody will react to that call except for a single elephant. That's no accident. That sort of indicates that they have a means by which to communicate who they want to talk to. George Wittmeyer is a co-author of a major new study of African elephants in which... We found that elephants address one another with calls that are specific to the individual receiver. In other words, they have the calls contain some information that identifies who the intended recipient of the call is. Co-author Mickey Pardo used this low-frequency sensitive microphone to record 500 different elephant rumbles in Kenya. Researchers then use machine learning to demonstrate that a receiver of a call could be predicted by the call's acoustic structure. Here's what happens when a rumble specific to an elephant named Margaret is played back to her. Same thing when Donatella, in effect, hears her name. It's not just a question of intelligence, Pardo says. Elephants have the neurocircuitry to modify their vocalizations. Only bottlenose dolphins and parrots are known to be able to do something similar. It's potentially very telling that elephants, dolphins, and parrots are all um, among the few species that have vocal production learning. And vocal production learning, the ability to learn to produce new sounds, is fundamental to human language. We couldn't have language without it. The next challenge for Pardo is learning how elephants get their names in the first place. And do they ever talk about each other in the third person? The chairman of the scientific board of Save the Elephants hopes this gets us humans to take the natural world more seriously. We often forget about that or take it for granted that we're the most important thing. And I hope that that allows us to value these species more and to think about our impacts on them in a new way. I hear you, Margaret would say. Henrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.